I'm Ms. Artastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to be making some lovely winter trees uh, and this is a great lesson to practice uh, using overlapping placement and size to create a sense of depth in an artwork which is the element of our space but for this art lesson we're going to be needing something to draw with that is not going to bleed when we add water to it so either a permanent marker you could use a black colored pencil or um, pencil crayon or a black wax crayon to draw with and you're also going to need some watercolor paints and we're going to be creating an artwork that it really is exploring a lot of cool colors like blue purple and green so grab those art making mediums and let's make some art <laughs> So we're going to be creating a lovely winter tree artwork and we're going to begin with our artwork in landscape orientation so that's long ways facing us and we're going to begin with a dot towards the top of the page and we're also going to have two dots towards the bottom so that way if we imagined that we connected those dots with our eyes they would make a lovely triangle and we're gonna use these dots to guide us as we create our lovely winter tree scene. And we're also going to be playing with a little bit of size to create and overlapping, so size or scale and overlapping to create the illusion that some trees are behind another. And that's gonna help create a sense of depth in our artwork. And that is the element of art space. So we're gonna use overlapping and size and placement to help us create that illusion. All right, so from that dot, we're gonna draw two lines down. Now I'm using a permanent marker to draw with, but if you don't wanna use that, you can always use a darker colored wax, uh, sorry, wax crayon or oil pastel to draw with, or um, you can also use a colored pencil if you don't wanna use that as well. But I'm gonna use permanent marker and we're gonna draw two lines down, and then we're gonna connect the bottom with some wavy lines. And that's gonna add a nice little snowy bit to our lovely winter tree. Next, from there, we're gonna draw two lines down. We're just gonna slide our marker inward or whatever we're drawing with, inward just a little bit on each side so it's not perfectly straight down. You can see it's just a little bit in. And then we're gonna add some snowy part parts on the bottom. So we're gonna do wavy lines to the other side. And I'm gonna draw a second set of wavy lines just above. That'll add a little snowy feature there. Okay, two more lines down. Again, go inward just a little. Another set of wavy lines to add a snow drift on our branches. And one final set of diagonal lines down. And of course we connect to their side once we add that snowy drift, just like that. And at the bottom, we're gonna draw the tree trunk peeking out. So we're gonna draw two lines down, just like that. And I like to add some swirling lines to kind of create some bark texture. I think it just be dashes. I'll, we're just trying to create this illusion of texture there. And then across the foreground, I'm gonna draw a nice wavy line that comes in front of my tree and that's gonna create my snow drift, my snow bank. Okay, we're gonna do this one more time, or well, two more times. We're gonna add a second layer. So I'm gonna draw two dots on either side. And I'm gonna draw one dot, just like that. And we'll imagine that there's a third dot hiding in the tree in behind, right? So we're not gonna see most of these two trees. All right, from the dots, we're gonna draw two lines down, and these are gonna be a bit smaller to imply that they are farther away. And of course, part of them are gonna be behind this first tree. So anytime we get towards the first tree, we'll stop. And that way we don't draw across the front, right? We want it to look like it's behind. And again, that's gonna create this 
sense of depth, which is the element of art space. The idea that overlapping implies that there's depth, even though we know this is a flat piece of paper. So it's the illusion of depth, even though we know it's all one depth itself. Okay, curving lines at the bottom. Okay, next. Two more diagonal lines out. Two sets of curving lines. Diagonal out, and of course, anytime you get to that tree, the first one will stop, and then curving lines for snow drift. I love it when it snows and the snow kind of gets stuck onto the trees. All right. One last line out and towards that dot. And curve it back in with your wavy lines. And then we're gonna do two more lines down for tree trunks. And then you can go ahead and add in some bark texture. Beautiful. All right, and finally, we're going to go ahead and draw some circles of different sizes. Tiny ones, big ones. And you can have some across the front of the tree, of course, because when it snows, it doesn't just snow behind and around things. It falls in front of our view, right? So we gotta make sure that we add some snowflakes that are falling between the viewer and the tree. Beautiful, once you got your snow cascading down from the sky, you can go ahead and grab your lovely paintbrush and we're gonna paint this in with some choice colors. So I'm gonna grab some watercolor paint and you can use watercolor paints or tempera paint cakes, your choice. I'm gonna begin with some green first. Now, I'm gonna paint the second section. The first top layer, of course, is just snow. We'll keep that nice and white. And we're gonna paint carefully because we have nothing that's going to hold our paint back once it touches other colors. So it's kind of nice that there's that snow there because it's going to prevent the green paint from touching other colors, kind of acts like a natural barrier. And the cool thing about watercolor or temper paint cakes is that the concentrations will be different, right? You're not gonna get one solid color as though you're coloring with wax crayons or oil pastels or even felt markers. You got lots of variation in value because of how little paint there is or how much paint there might be. And that's one of the beautiful things about paint. So sometimes it's nice to try something different, change it up and grab a paint and see what happens. And we'll do brown on the bark. And finally, we're gonna go ahead and grab some different cool colors or sky colors, whatever colors you think you want to use in a lovely 
winter sky, you can go ahead and add that to the background. I'm gonna use purple and I'm gonna use blue. And I'm gonna use them in different areas. Maybe I'll let some of it overlap. And that way they can mix and make some different colors. And I'm not gonna go right, right to the edge. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. And if you have some colors bleed into the background, no big deal. That's the fun of making art. Sometimes you just can't control what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna add a little bit of blue on the snow here for the shadow from the trees. Move some of this around a little bit more. Perfect. And once you're done, your lovely winter landscape is done. Hi there, thank you so much for watching the art lesson. Now let's dive into some more ways that you can explore Ms. Artastic art lessons. So this is another way you can explore Artastic lessons. So one, make sure that you go and find me on Instagram and TikTok. I am artastic.kids and please follow me, check it out. You'll find lots of different ways to grab art lessons and you'll also find out when new art lessons are dropped to YouTube and other places such as the blog. Next, you can go to the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel. Make sure that you become a subscriber because my friend, this is where I post a ton of weekly art drawing tutorials or art lessons for you to explore for free at home or in a classroom. And finally, make sure you go to artastickids.com. This is an essential place to go if you are someone if you're a kid looking to create art or if you're a homeschool parent or if you're just a parent or guardian looking to find art lessons for your kids to allow them to become creative, to prevent the whole let's get started um, at the kitchen table and they are not really wanting to create with their parent, don't worry because I will guide them through the art lessons and I will prevent them from getting stuck at the blank page. I know that is a huge struggle. So check it out, artastickids.com. There you'll find a blog full of free different art lessons, art lesson activity ideas, seasonal art ideas, and so much more, as well as my membership, which is my collection of art lessons online. It is an online streaming art lesson platform for families, homeschool, or classrooms, and you will be able to allow your child to um, stimulate their creative thinking and critical thinking skills, build on their motor skills, as well as they get to enjoy five new art lessons added every single month to the membership every single month. It is a growing art resource library. So you'll get hundreds of art lessons and then every single month, five new ones are added. And it, there are lots of sneak peek preview videos. So make sure you go to artastickids.com, hit the get started button, and I will see you in the membership enjoying new art lessons added every single month.